Okay, YouTube, this is going to be my review with my jacked up hair. I'm waiting for the guy to call so we can go walking. Well, not really walking, just getting my three, my hour in of exercise. Anyway, this is my review of last night, what I saw because I halfway down fell asleep. I got caught up on some show about some black people that got six babies. Anyway, um, Taylor, 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 Taylor. If this is not staged and this is real, all you're looking for is to become pregnant. That's all I can see. Your dad, I do understand that he doesn't want you to walk down the same aisle that he's walked down, go down the same road that he went down. And um, your two little sisters, 23, that's by two different people at the same time. He had them both, which is trifling, I think. Um, that those two, they don't see the point. Your dad is trying to protect you. This boy only wants to get in your pussy, and you trying to let him, and your dad is trying to stop that, and the boy ain't going to even talk to you after he gets some. That's just basically what's going to happen to you, Taylor. I really feel like um, Olivia, that's in Oceana, California, I feel like her parents might be a little bit too hard on her, because, I mean, you should be able to go see your friends, you should be able to hang out with your friends. And I just don't feel like um, them take, you know, feeling like she shouldn't even talk to the guy. Maybe she did used to get high with the guy, but I doubt she would get pregnant by him because he looked just as gay as the day is long. Um, so I don't think that she'll get pregnant by him. I think that they'll, maybe he might, maybe she might have drinks with him or something. But in the last episode, her and her sisters were smoking hookah. To me, that's just like... I don't know, but it just looks like you smoking drugs. I know that it's supposedly not supposed to have any drugs in it, but it just really looks like you're smoking drugs. So, to me, if you're going to try to stay away from that type of lifestyle, I don't think that you should do anything that that even resembles that type of lifestyle. And smoking hookah is the same, so I don't get it. The other girl, I can't think of her name right now, but she's so sweet. I think she's so sweet, but I don't think that she should have broken up with her boyfriend because of stuff that her sister did. And I never really, I guess I was like that until I was 18. Because if you are in a Christian, super Christian home, and you kind of like have a parent that's always just talking about sex is so wrong and things like that, then you will become that type of person. And me, myself, I, when I was kind of like that age and in high school I would be praying for God for the world to end just so that I could just go right to heaven and don't ever have to get really into a whole lot of trouble but it seems like that this girl she's going to be okay but I wish she would still at least be friends with Micah because Micah is a cool little guy I don't really think that he ever would have tried to push her into having sex I, from what I see from him I don't think that would have been his agenda so tell me what you think I'm about to go walking. I'm sure this phone is going to ring any minute. Tell me what you think. Um, this is my review of the Preacher's Daughters for this last week. And once again, somebody's writing me Lula Stewart 23. That person is saying that, that Taylor is their favorite. I don't know. Taylor is just a little bit too hot to try. Taylor is just a little bit too wild for me. She would get choked if that was my daughter because I can't do it. I couldn't be able, I wouldn't be able to do it, especially you telling me you want to be a porn star. Yeah, you got to go. That's, that would have been my answer. Well, you got to go. All right. Well, this is Chris Alavon. Please like, subscribe, tell your friends about the channel. Thank you. This is Amaya's Grandma 2008. See ya.